Hi there, my name is Julie Miller, and I just wanna personally welcome you to our Houston area Premier family. I have been with Premier for 26 years. I am a Platinum Executive Director, and I love, love Premier, and I love what I do, and I'm so excited that you've joined us too. Listen, there are so many ways to work this business and so many different elements and things that you're gonna be hearing about and learning about. Um, but I'm gonna focus in on some of the elements of an actual in-person event. And we like to call those jewelry shows or style events. Um, and they can take on a lot of different forms. You can uh, be just around a table at a coffee shop, you know, showing some jewelry in person um, with a, a small group of, of ladies. You can be at a vendor event. You can be, um, you know, at a stop and shop for over a lunch hour at an office or wherever for these in-person events. You can have a Facebook Live event. But I'm gonna focus in on bookings to carry on your business at an actual in-person style event, more like a regular full-out jewelry show where you and a, a hostess, or sometimes we call them style partners, um, where she gathers her friends together in her home or at an office or somewhere where you're actually doing a presentation and having a regular style event, okay? Now, that can even look a lot different depending on how you do it. But what I wanna share with you are some tried and true things to help encourage your bookings and your sponsoring and how to check out at the show. Um, because there are absolutely things that you can do that will make a huge difference. And I have loved doing in-person events for all these 26 years. I've done well over 1,500 of them. I've made great income doing these events. But of course, you wanna be able to carry them forward, right? You wanna keep them going. And so I wanna talk with you about, I believe one of the most important things that you can really focus on in your business to make it successful and to make it carry on so that you always have strong business and um, a future for your business, okay? So I wanna talk about encouraging the bookings at your actual jewelry show or style event. Um, first of all, the key is to take your eyes off yourself and you want to put your eyes on serving the people at that event and helping them to see that they have a need for what you have to offer, okay? It's not just about getting up there and showing a few pieces of jewelry and letting them shop. Although, sometimes that's kind of what it looks like. But when you want to maximize the benefits and maximize your bookings at your event, you want to really put the focus on them and help them all the way through the show. See what accessorizing can do for them and for their style and how it can simplify their lives and can really pull together a look that, that makes it easier for them to get out of the house in the morning knowing that they look fabulous, right? So if you can help them, help create that need for the jewelry and for um, your help that you can provide them, then you're gonna increase your bookings. That's part of it, okay? Um, so you want to, to really work on serving and building rapport with your guests. Help them to feel comfortable with you. Have fun with them. I always tell all my new jewelers, you know, if nothing else, like if you fall flat on your face and forget everything that you wanted to say, if you will just have fun and help them see what this will do for them and for their wardrobe and how it can totally transform their look. 
then um, you're gonna go a long way towards getting the bookings. Now, I'm gonna talk with you about other specific ways to get bookings at your show, but you've got to be sold on what you're doing, sold on Premier, and sold on the difference that jewelry can make for them, okay? That is key running all the way through that event. And then another key is to be able to present what we call our hostess plan or the style perks, you know, the hostess perks, present that in a way that they get it. And you can do that using visual aids, using different examples. Um, you can uh, do all sorts of different things, but here's the key. You want to help them see visually what it is that they're gonna be able to receive by having a fun style event with you. Okay, so they're obviously, the, the hostess perks are, they're gonna receive 30% of the total sales in free jewelry and up to eight items at half price. But they're also gonna be able to update their wardrobe. They're also gonna be able to um, really elevate their style. And they're going to be able to um, have a lot more versatility and a lot more options in what they wear. Because if they have the right accessories, the right jewelry, then it completely increases the number of outfits and different looks and different styles that they can have. And that is super valuable to them. Okay, they realize that. And so um, then you want to give them an idea of how much they can receive. So basically, you could show them a tray or two of jewelry, um, of things that you've modeled and, and say, hey guys, you are not gonna believe what a difference it will make for you and for your friends to have just a few girls together. And we will really focus in on helping to really update your look and update your wardrobe with these fabulous accessories. And listen, you could literally get this entire tray for free. Or maybe you wanna stack boxes, jewelry boxes, in a big tower, like a tower of treats, and show them can you believe it, ladies? You literally could get all of this for free or even more just for gathering your girlfriends together for a fun style event. Um, you could layer the jewelry on them. You could bring up a guest and, and show them, just say, hey guys, I just wanna give you an example. You're not gonna believe how much free jewelry, how many brand new accessories you can add to your wardrobe to totally transform it just for getting a few girlfriends together. Let me show you an example. And you could literally layer jewelry on her that you could just show an example of a, an average $500 event. And 30% of that is about $150. So let me show you what that looks like. And you can layer several necklaces and pairs of earrings and bracelets on her. But somehow you want to show visually what she's going to be able to receive and what it's going to do for her. That is what will get her attention. It's not just about having fun and ha getting jewelry. Because the average woman is so crazy busy these days, you want to help her see how this really will impact her and make a difference in her life. That is what will make them want to have a show with you. Um, and so do some kind of way. It starts at the beginning by helping her kind of recognize that, you, you know, I usually will start off saying, ladies, how many of you feel like you are so crazy busy you hardly, you know, know what to do with yourself? And then I kind of ask a few questions, kind of helping them realize where they're at. I'll say, how many of you feel like you have a to-do list a mile long and you are almost always last on the list? And literally, I'll, I'll ask those kinds of questions at the beginning and they all start raising their hands. And I'll, I'll say things like, how many of you feel like you have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear? Because you just there's just so much, you just don't have time to pay attention to how to wear accessories and how to shop and how to do all those things that just take time. And I get them thinking about those things. And that helps them realize that, you know what? 
they really probably need some help in these areas. And that's what you're here for. And so you kind of create that need for them all the way through your event. Um, and then you get to the booking activity. Because there's one thing I've learned is that, um, you know, you show them jewelry, you show them um, ex how to accessorize, how to have a quick recipe for a great pulled together look, um, and what that can do for them and how that can simplify their life, okay? So you're showing different things like that. You know, what the top trends are, you know, how this can make a difference for them. And you're showing different looks with our jewelry, okay? So you're doing all of those things, which they like. But then there needs to be this moment where you can help them to make a decision about doing it for themselves. Because if you just go through all that and then suddenly, you know, at the end, you just hope everybody decides they wanna have one too. Most women, I mean, they're just busy. You know, they're just shopping and they're just looking. So you want to give them a point um, of decision, okay? And listen, there's a variety of ways that you can encourage guests to book. There are lots of different booking activities, and there are um, a lot of different jewelers or stylists here in the Houston area who are hugely successful at getting tons of bookings, okay? I am very thankful for all of the bookings that I've always been able to get through throughout my career because I worked hard on it in the beginning when I was new, and I learned how to show them in different ways why they need it why they need the jewelry, why they need you, okay? And then you do a booking activity that brings them to a point of decision. Um, that your attitude in booking is huge. You need to be confident that you have something that they need and that they're gonna love getting together with their girlfriends to, to do. And um, that they're gonna love the jewelry that you have to show and that it's going to make a difference for them in their wardrobes. That is the, what you communicate all the way through. And then you have your booking activity. Um, so I want, you know, it's really just an interactive game or some kind of activity that kind of brings them to a point of decision. Okay. And really, honestly, if you're like highly skilled, and you are super, super persuasive, then, you know, those are the type of people that can just, at checkout, be able to just convince people to have their own events, okay? And I'm not saying that that can't be done, but I am saying that it's unlikely that you will get nearly the bookings that you need to, to have a successful business if that's all you do where you just basically let people come to check out and you just talk to them about having your, their own event, okay? Yes, if you're super, super persuasive, um, then you may be able to do that. But even then, you probably won't be getting the number of bookings that you need to have on your calendar to be able to account for just the normal stuff that happens in life, right? I mean, think about doctor's appointments that you've had that you had to cancel. Well, that's the way it is with our shows. I mean, there are going to be people, you're gonna have, you know, hostesses or style partners, you're gonna have those that, that cancel or postpone. So you want to be able to have lots of events scheduled on your calendar. Let's say you want to hold four events in a month. That's like your goal of how much you want to hold. Then you need seven or eight events scheduled on your calendar so that you'll end up with four events. You, you've got to be smart about it and you want to over, over book and you want to have a booking activity that works. Listen, this is something that I think is crucial. You don't want to keep doing a booking activity that doesn't get you more bookings. <laughs> you want, if it's not working and you've tried it and tweaked it and gotten help from it, you want to change to something that's working because you want something that's going to give you lots of bookings. The one that, the personal um, activity that I use is called Chance and Honor. Um, there's lots of others that are awesome too. If you'd like to see what I do and how I do it, 
I'm in love with it because I get three to six bookings at almost every event that I have, okay? And if you wanna see how I do that, you can go to my website, which is called Gems with Julie, gemswithjulie.com, okay? And go to training and then video, okay? I've got video and audio training. And you will see me doing my booking activity called Chance and Honor. Just look for that and you'll see a video of it. Um, but you want to make sure that you're doing something that brings them to a point of, of, of decision and one where you're confident and you're showing lots of enthusiasm and it's taking the attention off you and it's putting the attention on them. And, um, you know, there's some things in the booking activity that, you know, you want to make sure of. One, you want to make sure that it's simple and that it's really, really clear. So that means you need to practice it over and over and over again. Practice in front of the mirror, then videotape yourself. You know, just do a video of you and watch yourself. Get your sponsor to watch it and see if they can see any areas that you could tweak um, before you get out to do it. Because it needs to be simple and easy to understand and with clear choices or steps. You want it to be colorful. You want it to be attractive. Anything that you do, you want to make sure that it gets their attention. I love to use these little miniature purses that um, you can get at Premier Incentives. And for whatever reason, people love those mini purses. Um, and, and I always tell them there's something inside of here, but don't peek. Um, but pick one you think is lucky. And so there's that element of the unknown, of the surprise. And you, it's always good to have an element of chance where they feel like they're almost, um, you know, taking a chance at what they could win and that they might win something really amazing. Okay, so that kind of is enticing to them and makes them want to participate. Um, you want it to look professional. You don't want anything to look shabby. You don't want to offer any little gifts that you would never want to have yourself. You want it to be something that's worthwhile for them. And, um, you know, you want it to, to look great. Um, you also, so keep this in mind when you're thinking about what type of booking activity you're gonna use. And, and they should have the five C's. It should be colorful, it should be cute, it should have some kind of a choice in it. You never want them to feel pressured. It should have some kind of a choice, or so, and it should have where they're taking a chance of some kind, and it needs to be cheap. <laughs> you don't want it to be too expensive and that you're spending you know tons of money to get bookings. Although I will say that one of the smartest things I ever learned, one of the best things I ever learned early on in my business was that you want to, to make sure that your calendar gets to the point where you have a strong safety net. My safety net is 15 to 20 shows on my calendar at all times. I don't mean all in one month, but over the next you know two, three months, I want minimum of 15 to 20 shows on my calendar because you know what? I know if I have that many shows, if, if several cancel or postpone, <coughs> I still have lots of shows. <coughs> so, so if I start getting close to that 15 on my calendar, then I crank up my booking activity. I offer more so that I can fill my calendar with more bookings. That's when it's worth it to spend a little bit more because um, if you don't and you don't do something quickly to increase your bookings, then you'll end up with nothing. And then you, you don't want that kind of, you don't want that situation. It's a whole lot harder to get started from nothing than it is to, to generate more from what you already have, okay? So that's for the booking activity, but it's so crucial that you have a, a booking activity that's working, okay? And then you also wanna have a sponsoring activity at your shows. What is a sponsoring activity? A sponsoring activity is the same thing. It's like a booking activity, but it's some kind of activity that piques their curiosity about learning more about what you do. The purpose of a sponsoring activity is not to sponsor them, okay? A sponsoring it because you're not going to just sponsor somebody at your show from your 
a sponsoring activity. Um, you could show that, for example, one of the things I like to do is I print up uh, large bills, $100 bills, and I give an example of how even a busy, busy woman could fit a premier business into her life and how she makes 50% of everything she sells. And so I show her an example of a typical month in the life of, of a new stylist and um, how she can make money with different types of events. And, and I hand her big money as I'm doing that. There's lots of other ways that you can share um, a little bit more about what you do, but you want to tell them what you do. You want to tell them what you love about it, what your experience has been, and what a difference Premier has made in your life. I share about how Premier enabled our three children to go to private Christian school. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I share um, um, about how it enabled us to put three kids through college and how it paid for our daughter's wedding and it's enabled us to go on fabulous memory-making vacations with our family. You've got to share something about what Premier has done for you. Perhaps that's you've been able to get out of debt um, through your Premier business or perhaps you've been able to make a car payment with your Premier business. Everybody has different goals and different desires but you've got to show them that you believe this and, and what it's done for you. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to have to get a little bit of water here. <coughs> mm. Ah, love video. But um, anyway, <clears throat> when you help other people become successful, it will make you successful. And so you want to start sharing the business. And when you're at your, your style events, when you're at your shows, that's all you do is you want to share a little bit about what you do so that they will want to hear more. That's the whole purpose is to create curiosity for them to want more information. And so at every event, you want to share something about Premiere so that they will want more information. You can also go to my website. I'll also go to the training tab, gemswithjulie.com. Go to the training tab and video again, and there's a picture of my sponsor, I mean a video of my sponsoring activity. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry, I've got something in my throat. <coughs> But um, that will give you an idea of what I do. There's lots of different things you can do. But again, you want to practice it. You want to get good at it. <coughs> and the whole goal <coughs> is to get more people to hear about Premier. Because here's something I know. If you want to have a business that's going to generate income for you, even when you're not out selling jewelry, okay, <laughs> then you're going to want to sponsor and share this business with others because you're able to also help those women meet their needs. And that is such an amazing purpose. I have loved that about Premier. It is one of the most fulfilling things that I do. I, it, to be able to build relationships with new women and help their, them in their family, in their lives. I've seen women be able to literally keep their family afloat or keep their home. I've got one of my leaders right now whose husband, he's an engineer and he lost his, his job and she is literally keeping her family afloat from that. That is what the power of sponsoring can do. It can change people's lives. It can provide hope for women that may not have anything else right now in their lives. It can provide an, enough money for braces for their children or select sports or perhaps a family vacation when they never could afford one before or perhaps to get out of debt. There's so many awesome benefits to being able to share. So I encourage you to keep your ears open Keep your eyes open. Listen for what people are telling you at the shows also. And the keys to sponsoring are you've got to be convinced that you have something awesome 
to offer and that you believe in Premier. You wanna set some sponsoring goals. And it, like I know my sponsoring goals are I always, every single month, I want to share the business with three to five people. And when I say share the business, that means I wanna share with them the full marketing plan, whether that's um, sending them a link to one of our marketing plan videos, whether it's listening to the Terrells or the Drapers on their website, they have a, a, a an audio opportunity presentation that people can hear. I do Facebook Live OPs for my day online. There's lots of ways people can hear it, but they will never join your family if they don't hear the full marketing plan. So at your shows, the whole purpose of sharing is to get them to want to hear more and to listen to the marketing plan. That over time will generate new jewelers in your premier family. <coughs> So, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, you want to um, be sure that you set some goals. I want to share with three to five people every month. You might want to set a goal of sharing with every single hostess that you have and offer her an incentive to listen to the marketing plan. You could just send her the link to the video and um, give her an incentive of some kind for listening to that. But um, being passionate is totally contagious. And another thing is don't wait to sponsor. You don't have, I know a lot of new jewelers think that they have to know everything before they start sharing. And that is so far from the truth. One thing is for sure, you're always gonna be a step of whoever you sponsor, a step ahead of whoever you, you sponsor, because you will have gone before them. So really, sponsoring is just helping them learn what you've learned. So you're always a step ahead of them. So don't wait, start sharing right away. I started sponsoring um, the second month I was in Premier. I started sharing right away and I started sponsoring right away and that enabled me to grow a really excellent business right from the beginning. Um, don't prejudge. You um, will see and meet all kinds of people at your shows. Sometimes people don't look anything at all, like a fashion girl, you know, that, that would be interested in this, but they may have a great need in their life. And you know what? The fashion part is they can learn that, right? And um, you can teach them those things, but you never know who really needs Premier. So don't prejudge, just be generous with the information and be consistent in following up with people. Um, it could, you know, uh, let me see, I wanna make sure um, that I don't leave something important out. Okay, um, it could be somebody who's about to retire that needs extra income and wants to build more relationships. It could be someone who is works full time and is dying to be home with her children. It could be somebody who is home with her children and she wants to get out <laughs> and meet other women. I mean, literally, there's so many different people that have lots of needs. So keep your ears open. And when you hear phrases like, oh, I could never talk in front of people like you do. Uh, or I am so stressed out, I never have any extra income. Or if they ask you questions like, how long have you been doing this? Or if they say something like, I hate my job. Or how did you learn all the names of the jewelry? How did you learn all that you know about fashion? Hey, is there good money in this? Or we can never really afford a vacation, so I can only buy one piece of jewelry tonight, I'm so sorry. Um, or does it take a lot of time for you to pack up your jewelry? Those are all curiosity questions. Why on earth would they ask those questions if they're not a little bit curious about what you do? Those are signals to you that you should say something like, hey, have you ever thought about doing, what, doing something like this? Um, hey, you know, I heard you say that um, you never have enough money for a vacation. If I told you a little bit more about Premier, would you be open to just getting that, the information? You never know down the road how this might, might help. Or I will often say something like, hey, look, I know you probably aren't interested in doing something like this, but look, you 
know lots, I can tell you know lots of people, and I would just, I really wanna share with you a little bit about what I do, because you would be a great source of referrals. I know you know lots of people, I would love your input, and I would love to just tell you a little bit about what I do. Listen, girl, I can keep you in free jewelry forever, just for referring people to me. Can I just share a little bit more about what I do? It's little things like that, that you do just to get them to hear more, okay? So, be listening for those kinds of signals. Um, listen for people that say, well, they've tried things like this before and it's never worked, you know? Um, or, I know someone who tried this and it didn't go very well. And you could say something like, well, I don't know about that, but, you know, you are not her and it wasn't Premier. Or, I assure you, we will work together. I will come alongside you and I will teach you everything that you need to know um, to learn what you need to learn. So, there's you just listen to what they're telling you and you help find a solution that will help them. You take your eyes off yourself and figure out how Premier could help them. That is the key to sponsoring. So just always remember you have lots of tools to help you with your upline. Uh, you have your upline, you have opportunity presentations that are available. Um, you know, you have your own personal website. If you don't have that, you wanna make sure you get that right away um, because there's an opportunity presentation video on there. Um, there's the marketing plan brochure that Premier has on their website. So many different tools that are available to you to share the business. And then the last thing I wanna share with you is um, a little bit about how to take that booking activity and how to take that sponsoring activity and then actually get the commitment from the people at your events, okay? One of the most important things that I have found is that you want to have some type of guest survey at your shows. Now, you may hear lots of different names for that survey. It could be a style profile. It could be a guest profile. It could, you know, it could be a guest survey. It, it, I mean, there's just all different names for it, but basically, um, it's just a few questions that helps pin them down. And you could answer, you could go through each question with them at the end of your event, or you could do it like I do, where I do a little bit all the way through the event. But basically, after I finished my booking activity, I have them pick up that guest survey again. I have them fill out at the beginning their name and information. And then after the booking activity, I have every single person pick up that guest survey again. And I have a couple of questions that are related specifically to the booking activity so that those who've played my activity, my game, and they got the prize where they are gonna get to do it a, a, a style show of their own and get a lot of free jewelry for themselves, then right then and there, before any time has passed, I have them check off if they, if they got that, that particular option where they get to have their own style event. And I have them write in the days of the week that tend to work best for them and what type of event they would like to have. And so I have them do that right away. The same thing goes with the sponsoring activity. When I've shared a little bit about Premier, I let them know. I know they may not be interested in this, but I want them to pick up that, you know, pick up that guest survey um, again. And I want them to go to question number whatever it is, three, question number three, or whatever, where <clears throat> would you, if I sent you a link to a video, would you be willing to, to watch it and be a source of referrals for me? Yes or no? Or, you know, it can look a lot of different ways. There's different questions that you can do. But right then and there, I get the commitment while it's fresh, right after I've shared about it. And I will offer a free jewelry or a free gift for them to hear just a little bit more about Premier. Um, and I tell them, I know it may not be for you, but you probably know somebody who this could benefit. And I love referrals. So if you'd be willing to get free jewelry just for being a, a referral center for me, 
I would love it. And um, it, it's super, super easy to hear a little bit more about what I do and I'll give you um, a free bracelet or a free you know gift card or whatever it is you want to offer. So I do that right at the end and I have them fill that out right away, okay? And then at checkout is when I pin everything down for sure with a date in my calendar. I cannot tell you how crucial that time is for you at checkout. Listen, every, almost every person that you talk to, even if they played your game or your activity and they booked a show, so to speak, at that point, when they come to check out and you talk to them about getting a date for their show or finding a time to follow up so they can hear a little bit more about Premiere, most of the time, they're gonna give you some kind of an excuse. Did you know that that's just normal? I mean, that just is like, what normal women do, because women like to keep control. And so when you say, um, hey, let's go ahead and find a time when we can get together for your style event, you know, they're gonna likely say something like, well, let me go home and check with my friends, or let me look at my calendar at home, or let me talk to my husband and see what his schedule is. I mean, those are just normal things you'll hear. Totally expect it. But when they say it, just say something like, oh gosh, I totally understand. We need to go ahead and just pencil something in so we've got at least a starting point. Or what I like to do is I offer an incentive for the current hostess that night who happens to be that new booking person's friend, right? I offer a gift to her for, for whenever she gets bookings at her show. And I let everybody know that, that Susie Hostess is gonna get an extra special gift of some kind when we have three um, future style events scheduled tonight from her show. And so that gives me leverage when I'm talking to her at checkout. And I can say something like, um, oh, listen, I totally understand. I know you need to go check with your friends and your husband, totally get that. We need to just go ahead and pencil this in because I've got a packet for you. And that way, Susie Host is your friend, can get credit for it tonight. Don't worry about it, go home, check your schedule. If that date doesn't work, just give me a call in the next day or two and we'll find a better date for both of us, okay? So, and I have my calendar right out in front of her and I say, so which date would be better for you? Um, do you like Tuesday evenings or Thursday evenings? Or what, or Saturday mornings, or Sunday afternoons, whatever works best for you. But know that ahead of time, know when you wanna do your events, and you take them to the next possible opening that you have. And if that's not good for them, just say, no problem. Um, and then go to the next thing, and the next thing. And you feel it, listen, you do not wanna let them leave that day or that night without a date on your calendar because you know how everybody is now. They don't ever have to answer your call or answer your text or follow up with your email or your Facebook message or anything. You may never get them again. So it is crucial that you get the date for a future opportunity presentation that you're gonna share or a future event booking that you're gonna have with them. You get that date right then and you will thank yourself for it later, let me tell you. It's the smartest thing you can do for your business and it will generate future bookings and future new jewelers. If you are sharing regularly and a lot, you will sponsor new jewelers that can make you long-term residual income, that can change the life of your family. So it is worth it to take the time to learn these things and to um, to get good at this these things, this part of your business. It is the lifeline, these two areas, the, the bookings and the sponsoring, these are the lifelines of your business. And that is what will carry you forward to a super successful business um, for your premier life and your premier world. And I know you want that. I don't know anybody that starts your business and, and doesn't want it to be successful. We want you to be as successful as possible and we wanna do everything we can to help you. So reach out, um, ask for help. Don't ever sit in silence. Ask your sponsor for help and if they can't help you, find someone who can because we all really, really do care. You've made a super 
super great decision to be with an amazing company and surrounded by lots of people in the Houston area that will love you and care about you and care about your success. So I wish you the very, very best and um, I can't wait to see you at a future um, fun event that we have in the, in the Houston area. Take care. Bye-bye.